Hello and welcome to this video. We are going to learn how to convert radians to degrees. So let's start by learning how to find the size of an angle in radians. So this is a circle. Let's have that as the center of the circle. And then let's have that as the radius. And then let's have another radius that way. And then let's have this angle as theta. So how do we find the size of an angle in radians? So to find the size of an angle in radians, we need to divide the arc length, the arc length by the radius. So the arc length is the distance from this point to this point, okay? This part of the circumference, from this point all the way to that point. So if the size or if the arc length is let's say 20 centimeters and the radius is let's say 5 centimeters then this angle theta in radians will be uh, 20 divided by 5 which is equal to 4 radians okay so let's have another circle so let's say this time let, let us make the angle a bigger. Let's have that as theta. And then the arc length is going to be the distance from this point all the way to that point. Okay. So that is the arc length. So let's say it is uh, 40 centimeters. And the radius is 4 centimeters. So the 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 angle theta in radians is going to be 40 centimeters divided by 4. That is the arc length divided by the radius and is going to be 10 radians. Okay. Now what if uh, we have the arc length what if we have the arc length as one whole revolution okay if we start here the arc length will be all the way from here coming all this way to that point okay so that is one full revolution which is equal to the circumference of the circle so the arc length is going to be equal to the circumference of the circle and we know that circumference is equal to 2 pi r that is the formula for finding the circumference of a circle and then to find now the angle that is subtended by this a full revolution we're going now we, we're going to divide by the radius r which is equal to 2 pi so the, the r and that one goes or cancels out and we are left with 2 pi now we all know that one full revolution is the same as 360 degrees so it is correct to say that 2 pi is the same as 360 degrees. So this is the size of the, of the angle, one full revolution in degrees, and this one in radians. So if we divide both sides by 2, we're going to have pi being equal to 180 degrees. And that is the relationship that we're going to use to convert any angle in uh, from radians to degrees and vice versa so if we have uh, okay so let me have a few angles here in degrees so 30 degrees uh, let's have uh, 80 degrees 240 degrees and also let's say uh, 300 degrees 
let's convert each of these four angles into radians using this relationship that we have found out that is pi is equal to 180 or pi radians is equal to 180 degrees so if pi radians is equal to 180 degrees what about 30 degrees okay so we cross multiply so it's going to be 30 over 180 pi but we can simplify this so the 0 and the 0 goes and then by 3 1 by 3 6 so 30 degrees is the same thing as a sixth pi radians okay let's go to 80 degrees using the same procedure that I've just shown you so if pi radians is equal to 180 degrees what about 80 degrees so you cross multiply it's going to be 80 divided by 180 pi radians and then the 0 and the 0 goes and then we can now simplify this we can divide by 2 which is 4 by 2 it's 9 so 100 or 80 degrees is the same thing as 4 over 9 pi radians okay let's go to 240 probably you can work this out by yourself you can see that it's not difficult uh, so okay let me free up some space here so we have said that pi radians is equal to 180 degrees so what about 240 degrees so you cross multiply it's going to be 240 divided by 180 then pi so uh, when you simplify this the 0 and the 0 goes uh, we can simplify this by by 3 or by uh, okay we can simplify by 3 it's 8 by 3 it's 6 and then by 2 is 4 by 2 it's 3 so 240 degrees is the same thing as 4 thirds pi radians okay and then finally 300 degrees so using the same uh, the same relationship pi radians is equal to 180 degrees what about 300 degrees so it's going to be 300 divided by 180 and then pi so when you simplify this the 0 and the 0 cancels out and then uh, we can simplify by 3 it's 6 6 by 3 it's 10 by 2 it's 5 by 2 it's 3 so this is going to be 5 all over 3 pi radians